Hello everyone. Thought I would share a little spot I like to sit near my property. Not on my property. This is just a down the road from where I live. I come here every once in a while and just check out the little brook here. Sometimes there's little minnows and crawfish and other critters in here. I've always liked smaller bodies of water rather than larger bodies of water. I like small brooks and streams and ponds rather than like a big lake or a big pond or a big river which there's a big river down the road here that this goes into but I'd prefer to actually hang out here and see what kind of critters I can find and see pretty pretty nice place come here and listen to the birds and see if I can see any wildlife Sometimes I'll see deer out here in the field. Occasionally I'll see deer out here. But tonight I was just seeing if I'd see any crayfish or minnows swimming around all the rain this year I think it kind of disturbed everything all the small bodies of water that I see normal critters in they just seem to be gone I, I think all the flooding this year kind of drove everything away Normally, I'd see little minnows in here. Another spot I like to hang out at. A small little pond. Next, just off the road here. A lot of algae, not like, not nothing like the brook and stuff like that at my other property. That one always move. It's always the water's always moving very slow, but it's very clean. And, but this one always has a lot of algae, and it's. It looks pretty rough in some spots. I, I like coming here just to hang out. It's not too buggy. The, the brook at camp is amazing. I've never seen a pond or, or a brook like that with such slow moving water be so clean and not any algae. I just, it's amazing. So that's, that's definitely a re, always a reason to make sure that we keep it clean up there and everyone don't blue and a lot of the algae is from nutrients in the water 
And a lot of that comes from runoff from the fields like with cows and animals and people. Their the septic systems and all that. Eventually that water has to go somewhere. And all the nutrients in that water creates this. That's one reason I love I love our camp. Our, our camp. It's so the water is always clean and definitely a reason to make sure it always stays that way. See all the algae. This pond is full of it. I, I've seen where dry months and algae so thick in this you can't even you can't even see through the water. But our pond and our little kind of like a pond and brook at camp is amazing how it stays so clean. I'm just always amazed at the difference in areas you go to areas where there's farms and everything and you see a lot of algae in the water and the water is all murky and then you go up in the mountains and you get to enjoy the water that is crystal clear and You see a little bit of plant life, but no algae. I just thought I'd share that with you. I, I, I'm just amazed at how nature works. Some ponds are filled with algae and some are crystal clear and not a bit of algae in them. And amazing. Well, I'm back home after exploring nature a little bit. Got some a little bit of mountain views in the front, off the front porch. Neighbors' horses. Need to trim my trees so I can see a little better, but nice view of the mountains over here. Nice place to sit and relax. Thought I'd end the video with view of the sun setting. And a nice view of the mountains. Nice view of the Amish farm. Nice to live in the country where it's nice and peaceful. Can't get much better than this.